Hello, hello. Good morning. Hi. Thank you so much for joining class this morning. Morning. Good morning, good morning. So anything to report injuries or ailments? Are we good? Yeah. All right. Lovely. Everyone's connected, awesome. So I am, if you're not on mute already, I'm going to mute you. How are you doing this morning, Phil? Are you all right? Thank you. Good, 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 awesome. So everyone's getting settled. Lovely. So as always, practice mindfully and with awareness. Okay, listen to your body. All right, take breaks if you need to. Modify postures if you wish. Do I look a little bit dark or can you see me? Can you see me okay? Yeah, superb, good, good, good. Okay, bit tanned. <laughs> so, seated, easy crossed legs, okay? Please remember to breathe throughout your practice today. All right, use the breath. Sitting nice and tall, easy crossed legs. Fingers in chin mudra. Claire, just to let you know that I can only see the very top of your head. Maybe that's intentional. So fingers in chin mudra, palms of hands facing up. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. Eyes closed or a soft gaze towards the floor. Begin to initiate the breath. So the breath is through the nose, the inhale and the exhale. So you're just taking a moment to allow yourself to come into your yoga space. We'll open with Kapalabhati cleansing breath. So a fast inhale, exhale, breath, breath is through the nose. Passive inhale, sharp exhale, where you are pumping the abdomen to get rid of any stale, stagnant air. If you have any issues with congestion, migraine, hay fever, that kind of thing, don't do Kapalabhati this morning. All right. Take a deep breath in. 40 pumpings, exhale. Slow and steady breath when you have finished. Second round, 60 pumpings or as many as you can manage. Deep breath in. Exhale. Slow and steady breath when you have finished. Neck releases, chin to chest. Take right ear toward right shoulder. Little lift of chin, gently dropping head back. Take left ear toward left shoulder. Head comes forward, chin to chest. Deep breath here. Left ear toward the direction of the left shoulder. Lovely. Lifting chin, gently dropping head back. Taking right ear toward right shoulder. Good. Head comes forward, chin to chest. Deep breath here. Slow rise of the head. Opening the eyes. Come up to standing at the top of your mat. We'll start with sun salutations, Surya Namaskara. 
You are standing tall, palms to prayer position at the heart center. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. Eyes closed for a moment or a soft gaze towards the floor. May this practice be part of your meditation or spiritual practice this morning. Offer up your practice, dedicate it to someone who needs the energy. If you need some of that good energy, it's fine to practice for the higher self. Open the eyes, your focus is in your space. Let's begin, sun salutation, Surya Namaskara. Simple rounds first. Inhale, arms rise. Little arch, pressing hips forward, be mindful of your back. Forward fold, exhale. Right foot back, knee to the floor. Press the hips forward, gaze ahead. Step to plank pose, push up position. Knees to the floor, buttocks to heels, bow the head. Slide forward, cobra pose, little lift of chest. Down dog, exhale. Take a moment here in your down dog. So a little pedal of the feet, a little sway of the hips. Starting to warm up the back body. Chest towards the thighs. Tailbone lifting nice and high. Elbows in. Wonderful. Right foot lunges forward, drop left knee. Press the hips forward, gaze ahead. Exhale, step your left foot forward, forward fold. Little bow of head. Reach the arms forward, rise up. Take a little arch at the end. Palms to prayer, exhale. Lovely, again, inhale, arms rise. Lovely, forward fold, exhale. Left foot back, knee to the floor. Press the hips forward, gaze ahead. Step to plank pose, push up position. Knees to the floor, buttocks to heels, bow the head. Really extend those arms, spread the fingers. Slide forward, cobra. Little lift of chest, shoulders away from the ears. Downward facing dog. A moment here in your down dog. Little pedal of the feet, sway of the hips. And remember, try and keep a strong core lifting tailbone high. Shoulders nicely away from the ears. Arms are strong and straight. Good. Left foot lunges forward, drop right knee. Press the hips forward, gaze ahead. Exhale, step. Your right foot forward, forward fold, little bow of head. Good. Reach the arms forward, rise up, take a little arch at the end. Palms to prayer, exhale. So you have a second round at pace. Inhale, arms rise. Forward fold, exhale. Right foot back, knee to the floor. Step to plank pose, push up position. Knees to the floor, buttocks to heels, bow the head. Slide forward, cobra pose, lifting chest. Downward facing dog. Nice, right foot lunges forward, drop left knee. Exhale, step your left foot forward, forward fold. Reach the arms forward, rise up, take a little arch at the end. Palms to prayer, exhale. Left side, inhale, arms rise. Forward fold, exhale. Left foot back, knee to the floor. Press those hips forward. Step to plank pose. Knees to the floor, buttocks to heels, bow the head. Slide forward, cobra pose. Lovely, downward facing dog. Left foot lunges forward, drop right knee. Exhale, step your right foot forward, forward fold. Reach the arms forward, rise up, little arch. Palms to prayer, exhale. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, arms rise. Forward fold, exhale. Right foot back, knee to the floor. Anjaneyasana or Kapyasana. So torso rises, arms extend. If you're in Anjaneyasana, hips a little bit higher. Kapyasana, fingers interlaced and you're sinking down in the hips. 
Squeezing those arms a little bit closer towards the ears. You are here for three breaths. Two, try to keep the breath through the nose. On one, hands to the floor, step to plank. Knees, chest, chin to the floor, buttocks in the air. Cobra, lift your chest. Perhaps you're starting to come up a little bit higher. Please be mindful of your back. Down dog, exhale. Yogi's choice. You can stay here in your down dog or your right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Then heel to buttock, hips are open. Look underneath your right armpit. Then adding wild thing if you would like, stepping your right foot over to your left side, hips up, heart open. You are here for three breaths. Squeeze the glutes. Nice. Two. One. Transition back to your three-legged dog. Nice. Heel to buttock, hips are open. Anjaneyasana or Kapyasana. Lunge your right foot forward, drop left knee. Float the arms up as you lift your torso, arms up alongside the ears. So remember, in Anjaneyasana, just lift the hips a tiny bit higher and really do tuck the pelvis, strengthening hip flexor, okay? Kapyasana, if you need a little bit more of a stretch, you sink down a little bit more in the hips, lifting the heart. Two more breaths. Squeeze the arms, Barry. Lovely. On the one, hands to the floor, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Now take a moment, hold the backs of the legs. Bring the torso down a little bit more. If you can, go deeper. Feel free to soften your knees here if you wish to. Two more breaths. Scoop the belly jam. On one, wide arms, you rise up. Lovely, palms to prayer, exhale. Left side, inhale, arms rise. Forward fold, exhale. Left foot back, knee to the floor. Anjaneyasana or Kapyasana, so you know the one, yeah? Take the one that serves you best, okay? Keep a strong core, shoulder blades moving down the back. Nice strong arms, whether you have interlaced fingers or palms facing. Two more breaths. On one. Hands to the floor, step to plank pose, push up position. Knees, chest, chin to the floor, buttocks in the air. Cobra, lift your chest. Superb, down dog, exhale. Left leg rises, three-legged dog, if you are adding it. Heel to buttock, hips are open. Wild thing. Stepping that left foot over to the right side. Now remember, really squeeze your glutes, rise your hips up. Three. Two. Lift the heart higher, Phil. On one, transition back to your three-legged dog. Well done, everyone. Heel to buttock, hips open. Anjaneyasana or Kapyasana. Lunge the left foot forward, drop right knee, torso rises, arms extend. Lovely. You are here for three breaths. Two. Judith, higher heart. Yes. On one, hands to the floor, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Forward fold. Lovely. Wrap those arms around the backs of the legs if you need to, or simply hold the backs of the legs. And remember, you can soften the knees. So Barry, bow the head a little bit more if you can. Good. Gemma, can you wrap the arms a little bit more? Go deeper if you can. Superb. Chloe, relax the shoulders. Lovely. Wide arms, you rise up. Palms to prayer. Exhale. Lovely. You have another round. Inhale, arms rise. Forward fold. Exhale. Right foot back, knee to the floor, Anjaneyasana. So just simply float the arms up, pull the belly back towards the spine. Nice. Then hands to the floor, step to plank. Knees, chest, chin to the floor, buttocks in the air. Cobra, lift your chest. Down dog, exhale. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Judith, bring your hands a little bit closer together. Nice. Heel to buttock, hips open. Wild thing. Take your time. 
Now, some of you will stay here in your wild thing. Some of you are floating your right arm towards your cheek. Beautiful. If you have four wheel, practice your four wheel here, but take your time. You have three breaths. Two. Trisha, open up the heart. Well done, Mickey. Nice, John. On one, transition back to your three-legged dog, but please take your time. Lift and extend your right leg straight up. Almost there, Judy. Heel to buttock, hips open. Nice. Kapyasana. So lunge your right foot forward, drop left knee. Flip the arms up, interlace fingers, index fingers pointing up. So please take a little shimmy from side to side just to warm up the upper back. Good, and then a little side stretch. So as you squeeze those arms, just gently lean over to one side and then to the other, but keep a strong core, okay? And then sink down in the hips as much as you can. Keep squeezing the arms back beyond the ears. Little gaze up, lifting your heart so you're not dumping into the lower back. But as though you're trying to rise your chest up, okay? Keep that freedom in the lower back. Three more breaths. You must breathe. Breath is through the nose. Two. On one. We're going to add quad stretch now. So can you reach for your left foot? Left hand holds onto left foot. Cushion that knee if you need to. Can you bring your left heel close towards your left hip and then extend your right arm, fingers in chin mudra. If you need to, Modify the pose. You can keep left hand down, right hand reaching back, and then bringing that heel in. Make it work for you. Three more breaths here. So stronger core, Judith. Two more breaths. Stronger arm, Claire. On one, hands to the floor, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold, well done. Take a moment, really wrap the arms around the backs of the legs and you go as deep as you can into your forward fold. Breathe here. Wonderful, wide arms, you rise up. Palms to prayer, exhale. Lovely, left leg, inhale, arms rise. Forward fold, exhale. Left foot back, knee to the floor. Anjaneyasana, simply floating the arms up alongside the ears. Pull the belly back towards the spine. And then release the arms down, hands to the floor, step to plank. Good, knees, chest, chin to the floor, buttocks in the air. Cobra, lift your chest. Try and squeeze your shoulder blades closer together. Nice, down dog, exhale. Left leg rises, three-legged dog. Heel to buttock, hips open. Wild thing if you are adding it, only if you are adding it. Wonderful. Some of you are floating your left arm towards your cheek. Nice, Patricia. Open up the heart a little bit more. Gemma, can you reach over more? Some of you are coming into full wheel, maybe. Gemma, try and straighten that arm a little bit more. Let it float back behind you. Yes, alongside the ear. There you go, super. Claire, open up your heart facing up towards the sky. Well done. Nice, Mickey. Good effort here. Transition back to your three-legged dog. Nice, Chloe. That's the one. Lift and extend that left leg up, up, up. Heel to buttock, hips open. Good. Kapyasana. Lunge left foot forward, drop right knee. Float the arms up alongside the ears as you lift your torso. Interlaced fingers, index fingers pointing up. Little shimmy from side to side. Now take your time, little side stretch. Now remember, you've got to keep a strong core here to keep the balance. Wonderful, come back to centre now. Pull the belly back, lift your heart, sink down in the hips, squeeze your right glute and gaze up. Do not drop your head back beyond your arms, okay? Squeeze the arms more, Patricia. Yes, three more breaths. Chloe, squeeze more. Two, John, squeeze the arms. Beautiful. On one, hands to the floor, step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Wrap the arms around the backs of the legs. Breathe here. Oh, 
Well done, Claire. I, I forgot quad stretch, didn't I? Oopsie. Let's step that right foot back. Quad stretch. <laughs> right hand reaches back to hold on to right foot. Yeah? Gently bring that heel in towards the hip as much as you can. Extend the left arm, fingers in, chin mudra. Lovely. Remember, you can modify, so if you need to, right hand to the floor, left hand reaching back to hold onto that right heel. Better take four more breaths here. On three, Patricia, lift the heart. Yes. Two, one, hands to the floor now, step forward, Uddhanasana, forward fold. And please do wrap the arms around the backs of the legs, lovely. Lift the tailbone nice and high. So you're trying to rest your belly towards your thighs, yes? Your chest towards your knees and your forehead towards your shin. Draw the kneecaps up as much as you can, but if you need to keep soft knees, perfectly fine. Well done. Wide arms, you rise up. And palms to prayer. Exhale. Take a moment here in Tadasana Samastitihi. So you are standing tall. Ankle bones touching. Spread the toes. Reach the fingertips towards the floor, shoulders away. Eyes closed or a soft gaze towards the floor. You are breathing. Just taking a moment here, a little respite. So Suzanne and Rosa, Susanna and Rosa, I hope you're getting on okay. I hope you're staying safe and enjoying your practice thus far, okay? Surya Namaskar B. Palms to prayer position at the heart center. Lovely. Kakasana Crow Pose to open up Surya Namaskara B. If you don't wish to balance on your hands today, you don't have to. You can take Malasana Squat instead, okay? So we are coming on to tiptoes, squatting down, knees nice and wide, triceps to shins, kick the elbows out. Remember to glue those arms, those shins together, yes? Inhale, rise the hips up, exhale, tilt forward. Scoop, scoop, scoop the belly back, pick the feet up, heels close towards the buttocks. You are in your crow for five deep breaths. Please look forward, not down. Feel, lift the hips up, a little bit higher. So tilt forward, keep tilting, hips higher. Nice Gemma, now Gemma, hip, lean forward more. Lean forward more, tiny bit, tiny bit in your float. John, you need to bow down more, but look forward. Does that make sense? Yeah, chest forward more. Barry, you've got to lift the hips, otherwise it's not crow. It's still a squat. Hips need to be higher. Nice, Mickey. Now, can we shoot the feet back to come into Chattiranga? Almost there, Phil. Almost there, Judith. Well done. So exhale lower, bend your arms, little hover. Up dog, inhale, lift your heart. Nice. Down dog, exhale. Scoot the belly back towards the spine. Now, can you bring your chest close towards your thighs? Wonderful. Right foot lunges forward, warrior one. So outer left foot roots to the floor, you rise on up, float your arms up alongside your ears. Pull the belly back towards the spine, sink down a little bit more in that front knee. You should feel the engagement of your left glute. Please keep your torso facing forward as much as you can, okay? Five breaths. Chloe, stronger arms. Yes. Four. Feel sink down a tiny bit more. Three. Judith, arms alongside the ears. Yes. Two. Mickey, arms stronger. Nice. On one, hands to the floor, step to plank. Well done. Jab, Diranga, exhale, bend your arms, little hover. Up dog, inhale, lift your heart. Yes, down dog, exhale. Take a moment, shoulders away from the ears, strong core. Let's move on to the left side. Left foot lunges forward, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. So torso rises, your feet are happy and they are steady. You float your arms up alongside your ears, you pull your belly back towards your spine, lovely. Remember your torso is facing forward, yes? You can feel if you're slightly off center. 
Five deep breaths. Back leg is super straight. Yes. Four. Keep the arms strong. This will help. Interlace fingers if you need that assistance. Three. Keep a strong core, straighter back leg, Gemma. Two. There we go. Om one, hands to the floor, step to plank. Awesome. Jack it under, exhale, bend your arms a little hopper. Up dog, inhale, lift your heart. Downward facing dog. Lovely. Down dog for five breaths. But if you need extended child's for a moment, child's pose to take a little pause, you go ahead. Okay? Four, spread your fingers. Barry, lift the tailbone, so chest towards the thighs more. Otherwise, you're just resting into your shoulders. Nice. Three. On two, breath is through the nose. John, chest towards the thighs more. Yes. On one, time to get inverted. Handstand or headstand? Handstand or headstand. <laughs> So off you go. Remember, it can be traditional headstand. It can be tripod headstand. It can be no handstand if you want. If you find that actually, I'm just feeling a little bit tight today and I'm going to do my hamstrings instead. You can lie on the floor, left leg bent, sole of foot to the floor and do single leg raise, hold back of leg and relax here for 10 breaths, okay? If that's what you need, rather than going upside down, okay? So you can do that. You can even do eye of the needle. So if you need to get into piriformis, hip, you can do that. 10 breaths, straight leg, 10 breaths, eye of the needle, and then switch sides, yeah? You can even hold for longer if you wish. Those of you who are balancing on your head, please make sure that you are being mindful that you are in tripod headstand, elbows are in. Patricia, those elbows in, please. You are there, it's just those elbows are doing this. Bring them in, yes? Well done. Nice, Chloe, keep this, breathe. Judith, um, remember to lock those up. Yes, there you go. Lock the arms, relax those shoulders. Gemma, you know that you can bring that leg closer to you, don't you? <laughs> well done, Mickey. Lock the arms now, rib cage in, rib cage in, push the floor, push the floor, push, push, push. Well done, awesome. So Judith, that lead leg needs to come higher. You're trying to lift the second leg too quickly. Let that lead one come straight up, yes? And it almost drags that second leg up with ease. There you go, higher lead leg. So the hips need to be higher, higher, higher. Well done, good job. Claire, you're gonna slowly come down into your crow. Slow, slow, even slower, even slower. Those of you doing single leg raise, make sure that you have switched legs because we are about to move on. Make sure that you have done the other leg, yes? Good stretch, equal breaths on both sides, yes? John, elbows in. If you need to still stretch, if you're lying on your back and you still need that stretch, you stay there. Otherwise, everyone, extended child's pose. So you are buttocks back towards the heels, arms fully extended, you are spreading your fingers, you are melting your shoulders. Please breathe. Then take a moment in Balasana, child, with your hands beside your feet. Keep your buttocks back towards your heels. Breathe. Well done, everyone. Downward facing dog. Take your time, down dog. Chest towards the thighs. Even more, Barry. Keep the hands where they are and just move your chest towards your thighs. Keep
Keep your arms straight, keep your hands where they are, just chest towards the thighs, well done. Tiptoes, bend knees, high hips, hop or step forward, top of the mat. Look ahead, straight spine. Lovely, exhale, bow down, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. So you're sitting low, float the arms. Now they can be parallel to the floor, they can be up alongside your ears. Up alongside your ears, remember there's that tuck of pelvis and then you sit as low as you can go, okay? Well done, five breaths. Four. Strong arms. Three. Keep it going, Chloe, stronger arms. Two, yes. One, palms to prayer, eyes up to standing, arms are by your sides, Tadasana, Samastitihi. Keep your arms by your side, shoulders away. Nice. Breathe here. So eyes closed or a soft gaze towards the floor. It's just taking a moment's pause, little respite. Before we move on to continuous flow. Okay, in Surya Namaskara B. If you do not wish to pick up the pace, you can just keep it nice and slow. Do two rounds, super slow, all right? If you are ready to come with, we're gonna make it facey. Ready? Chair pose. Forward fold. Inhale, look ahead. Hop or step back plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right foot forward, warrior one, arms rise. Plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left foot forward, warrior one. Arms rise. Plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Tiptoes, bend knees, hop or step forward, top of mat. Look ahead, straight spine. Exhale, bow down. Chair pose. Strong arms, strong core, palms to prayer, rise up to standing, arms are by your sides. Lovely, again, chair pose. Forward fold, look ahead. Hop or step back, chaturanga. Upward dog, downward dog. Right foot forward, warrior one, arms rise. Plank pose, chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Left foot forward, warrior one. Arms rise, keep flowing. Plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Tiptoes, bend knees, hop a step forward, top of mat. Look ahead, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Sit low, strong arms. Palms to prayer, rise up to standing, arms are by your sides. Again, chair pose. Forward fold. Inhale, look ahead. Hop or step back, plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right foot forward, warrior one. Arms right. Plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left foot forward, warrior one. Strong arms up alongside the ears. Plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Tip toes, bend knees, opposite forward, top of mat. Look ahead straight. Exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Palms to prayer, rise up to standing, arms are by your sides. Again, chair. Forward fold. Inhale, look ahead. Hop or step back. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right foot forward, warrior one. Arms right. Plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left foot forward, warrior one. Plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Tiptoes, bend knees, hop a step forward, top of mat. Look ahead, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Palms to prayer, rise up to standing, arms are by your sides. Last round with variations. Chair pose. Forward fold. Look ahead, hop or step back plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right foot forward, warrior one. Arms rise. Right arm forward, warrior two. Split the arms. Beautiful. Reverse the arms, don't move the hips, please. Just float that right arm to your cheek. 
Yes. Parjvakanasana, side angle stretch. Right forearm to thigh, left arm to cheek. Some of you, hands to the floor or come to bind. Right arm inside, right leg, left arm behind. If you are binding, please open up that left shoulder and spin more. So Claire, you wanna bring your arm closer to your ear rather than your cheek, yes? For you, a little bit higher. Well done. Kari, press your torso open. So you are pressing as if your back is pressing against a wall. Yes. Well done, everyone. Trikonasana legs, reverse the arms. Inhale, straight legs, rise up, reverse the arms. Look your right arm towards your cheek. Please breathe. Beautiful. Wide leg forward fold, Pradottanasana. Inhale, arms up parallel to the floor. Turn your right toes in. Can you float your arms behind you, interlace your fingers? Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, float forward into a forward fold. Take your arms up and over. Take a moment here and breathe. So try and squeeze your arms a little bit closer together. Toes in slightly, heels out. Breathe. Wonderful. Fingertips to the floor, inhale, little look ahead. Exhale, single leg forward fold, Parsvottanasana. Pivot right, your left foot steps in halfway, take that left heel at an angle in the middle of the mat, but keep your hips squared, facing forward. So right hip back, left hip forward. If you cannot reach the floor, press your hands into your shin. Single leg forward fold. So you should be feeling this on the right leg, back of right leg. The leg should be straight. And remember, if the leg is bent, you're in the wrong place. Straight leg, walk your hands up the leg to the shin or the thigh to receive this stretch. Do not press on the knee. Do not press on the knee, either above or below the knee. Superb. We're coming into deep twists. Parivrita Parjvakanasana. Can you drop your left knee to the floor to set yourself up? Torso rises. Left arm, bring that elbow outside of right leg. Press palms of hands together, twist to your right. If you need to keep your knee to the floor, keep your knee to the floor. Otherwise, lift your left knee straight leg. Now you're pressing palms of hands together, keeping those elbows super wide. So rotate and twist a little bit more to the right. Pull the belly back towards the spine. Mickey, straighter back leg. John, straighter back leg. Yes. Three more breaths here. Shoulders away from the ears. Chloe, hands in line with center of chest. Beautiful, keep this. Two. On one, look to the floor, hands to the floor, Chaturanga Vinyasa, step to plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, superb. Just the other side to do. Left for lunges forward, warrior one. Take your time, warrior two. Remember, don't move the hips, reverse the arms. Keep the arms strong, breathe into that left side. Nice, Parjvakanasana, side angle stretch. Some of you are resting left forearm to thigh, right arm to cheek. Some of you are bringing left hand to the floor. Some of you are coming straight into your bind. Left arm inside, right arm behind. Make it work for you. Lovely, now remember, if you are binding, you've got to open up that right shoulder more, spin more. So John, feel as though you're pressing your entire back body against the wall. You are not dipping forward. Superb. Well done, everyone. Trikonasana legs, reverse the arms. Inhale, rise up. Remember, straight legs now, reverse the arms. Float your left arm towards your cheek. Lift your heart. Straight legs here, both of them. Well done. Padottanasana, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, arms rise up parallel to the floor. You turn your left toes in. Arms behind you, interlace fingers. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, float forward. Take the arms up and over. Wonderful. Now, if you find that you'd rather bring your arms in front of you and hold on to opposite elbow, do that instead, okay? Whatever works for you. If you find that actually holding onto the legs, the ankles, the heels, go there instead. Yeah. 
Breathe here. Nice, Gemma. Squeeze those arms more. Do this. Scoot the belly. See if you can go deeper. Top of head closer to the floor. Even more. Yes. Well done. Chloe, you're almost there. Well done. Fingertips to the floor. Inhale, little look ahead. Exhale, pivot left. Pause, Bhutanasana, single leg forward fold. So you are folding over your left leg. You may need to adjust your back foot, stepping it in halfway. Keep the heel at an angle in the middle of the mat. And do remember, if your hands do not touch the floor either side of the foot or leg, remember you can press your hands into your shin, okay? If you've got blocks nearby, you can even rest on the blocks. But sometimes it's easier to just work with using the body. Okay, so just place those hands where it feels comfortable. Please do not place the hands on the knee. All right, straight left leg for this to work. Wonderful. Keep breathing. Super, we'll take it to deep twist. Paddy Vita Pajvakanasana. So set yourself up, drop right knee to the floor, torso rises. And remember, it's your right elbow outside of left leg. Yes. Press palms of hands together, rotate and twist to your left. Remember to keep scooping belly back towards the spine. Open up that left shoulder more than you think you need to, okay? Some of you are lifting your right knee. Some of you are keeping the knee to the floor. Deep twist. Make it work for you. So Gemma, that heel up a little bit higher, that back heel. Yes, there you go. Keep hands in line with the center of the chest, spin more. Tiny bit more, Mickey, you are there. Yes. John, that back heel, is it off the floor? Yes, there you go. Stronger core, stronger core and you'll keep it. Stronger core. Do the spin more. There. Well done, everyone. Look to the floor, hands to the floor. Chaturanga Vinyasa, superb. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift chest, down dog, exhale. Take a moment in your down dog. Chest towards the thighs. Enjoy the breath here. Elbows in, strong arms, spread the fingers. Keep bowing the head, John. Lift the tailbone a little bit higher. Wonderful. Time to get inverted one more time. Headstand or handstand. If it's a, mm, actually I'm not going upside down today, if you're close to a wall and you'd like to take your butt towards the wall, legs up the wall, that's a nice restorative pose. Or you can stay in Sukta Bhattakonasana with soles of feet together, knees wide, relaxing here if that's what you need. Or you can take your hamstring stretch once again, but you can take it into half happy baby. So instead of a full straight leg, just working on the hamstring, bringing your right knee closer towards your armpit, okay? Then you extend the opposite leg and press that hand on that hip, okay? So if it's left leg extending out, left hand on left hip, and you just press your right knee in towards the armpit, okay? If that's you want to relax on your back and maybe work on hamstrings, maybe releasing calves, okay? Everyone needs something slightly different today. Nice, Gemma. Just make sure that your butt is right up against the wall, okay? Super. Nice, Mickey. You wanna lift your legs higher, tiny bit. Not too much, just a tiny bit. There, that's your line. Keep that. Beautiful. Patricia, chest towards the thigh. Chest towards the thigh. Well done, keep this. Now, Judith, you wanna lift those legs a little bit higher. That's what's causing you to fall out because at the moment there's a little lean like this whereas you want to go straight up, yeah? So more core. Kari, squeeze those arms, squeeze them. Keep squeezing them. Rib cage in, belly in. There, there. Keep that. Keep that. Barry, bring that knee close towards your armpit. Beautiful, there are. 10 more breaths wherever you are. 10 more breaths. Now, Claire, we're gonna try our crow. Slow. Releasing from your tripod, take your time, take your time. Knees in towards the armpits. Pull the belly back, suck the belly back towards the spine. Yes, slow it down, slow it down, 
slow, slow. Well done, lift the head, just lift the head. Oh. Good job. John, right elbow in, right elbow in, there. Squeeze the arms more, squeeze the arms more, squeeze the arms more. Now engage your core, you've got to engage your front body, otherwise you're just falling out. Well done, so much better, well done. Coming into extended child's pose, well done. Extended child's. Those of you doing those leg extensions, did you do both sides, yes? Alrighty. But it's back towards the heel, the heel, excuse me, arms fully extended. Now maybe you need a little moment with your arms on your back body. So maybe crossing those wrists on the back body, if that helps. Otherwise, maybe a little wiggle of the fingers, maybe rotating the wrists. Do what feels right for you, okay? Breathe. Two more breaths here. Om one, well done, downward facing dog. Take your time, down dog. Chest towards the thighs. So make it a strong down dog. I know you feel as though I'm just out of energy. No, you've only just started. Tip toes, bend knees, high hips, hop a step forward, top of mat. Look ahead, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Closing this round, Utkatasana chair pose. Sit as low as you can, strong arms. Beautiful. Palms to prayer, rise up to standing, arms are by your sides. Stand tall, Tadasana Samasthitihi. Now really pull the belly back towards the spine. Breathe here. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Just take a moment with the breath. Ooh, jai breath. Beautiful. Palms to prayer position at the heart center. We have a balance and then we'll take it to the floor. Okay. Can you balance on your left foot first? Utita Adha Danyarasana, half standing bow. Right heel towards the buttock. Reach back, hold. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Reach your left arm forward. Now, as you try to create your standing bow, try and take your chest forward a little bit more, but then lift your left arm up. Now, can you push your right foot into your hands to straighten your right arm and create your bow? And you will balance here for five. Four. Focus and breathe. Three. Two. Foot higher, Chloe. One, fingertips to the floor, step your right foot all the way back, or time for this dust and a lizard. So can you bring your left hand inside your left foot? You may need to scoot it over to the left a tiny bit. Little rock forward and back. Lovely. Now cushion your right knee if you need to when you set it down, okay? Forearms to the floor, elbows in line with heel. You are in your lizard pose for five breaths. Please don't worry if you can't bring your forearms down. Just keeping palms of hands to the floor and arms straight works just as well. Okay, three more breaths. Try to relax the shoulders. Two more breaths. Feel hips forward more. Om one. Slowly rising up, Kapotasana Pigeon. Now you have space once you have lifted your heart. Can you move your left foot over to the right? Drop your left knee over to the left. So hips are squared, push your right leg back. Wonderful. Now for those of you who have a strap nearby and you're used to practicing adding the little back bend, please go ahead. If not, don't worry. You can reach back with your right hand, hold onto your right shin. Keep your torso facing forward, having a mini back bend there. If you want to make it a deeper back bend, you can reach back with your left hand and then push that right foot away from you, okay? Otherwise, you can keep your fingertips to the floor, keep your hips and heart facing forward, roll those shoulders away, 
little gaze up, okay? So Gemma, just your right hip forward a tiny bit more, right hip. So you square the hips a little bit. Yes, there we go. Superb. So you should be feeling it more on that left thigh, yes? Good. Well done, Judith. Chloe, walk the hands back a tiny bit so that you lift the heart a little bit more. Yes. Well done, everyone. Resting pigeon, take your time. So walk your hands forward, yeah, melt here. Make a pillow with the hands, rest the forehead or extend the arms, make it work for you. Now, if you find that actually it's a little bit tight on that left side, you need a little bit of support, you can place a cushion or a low block underneath that hip, helping you to square the hips up a tiny bit more. Kari, you'll be mindful of that knee, yes? Good. Now, if you find that you've created a little bit more space, push your right knee back a tiny bit more. The other one, Gemma. <laughs> Two more breaths, melt here. Beautiful. On more one, three-legged dog to stretch it out, three-legged dog. So left leg is rising up into your three-legged dog, stretch it out. And then maybe you're doing heel to buttock, straight leg, heel to buttock, straight leg, or maybe you're keeping that left leg bent and you are circling the knee. Yeah, do what works. Now remember, keep your arms straight and strong. Beautiful, Mickey, keep that. Nice, Patricia, elbows in just a tiny bit, yes? Well done. We're coming into half split or full split. Can you lunge your left foot forward? For half split, you're dropping your right knee, pushing your hips back, but they are suspended in the air. Straight left leg, toes curled, and you are bowing forward. Those of you who are working on your full splits, push your right heel away, walk the hands back a little bit, push the heel away, walk the hands back a little bit, and keep those hips as squared as you can, okay? If you're ready to come down, if you're feeling warm enough, if you're feeling flexible today, go into your full splits. But ignore me if you're not doing full splits, okay? It's perfectly fine to do half splits. You get a wonderful stretch there. As long as you curl your left toes back and you have a straight left leg. Yes, Gemma, bow forward more. Nice, Chloe, that's the one. Let gravity assist you, good. Judith, just your right hip forward a tiny bit. Tiny bit, yes, there you go, well done. Now, Patricia, can we push that heel forward a tiny bit? Yeah, awesome. Philip, can you bow down more? There we go. Two more breaths. Mmm. Om one, Vashistasana side plank. So you have a bent left leg, you're keeping your right palm flat to the floor, you're floating your left leg back, stacking your feet, finding your side plank. Some of you, maybe you need to drop your right knee to the floor to modify it, and that is brilliant, okay? Now remember, right palm is down, left leg is back. Gemma, right palm is down, left leg is back. You are lifting your left leg maybe, little hover. Maybe you're making a tree with that left leg. Mm, maybe you're stepping that left foot back behind you, wild thing. Maybe you're coming into your four wheel. Please don't worry if not, it's brilliant to stay in your side plank. Awesome. Come into three-legged dog, left leg is lifting. Three-legged dog, left leg is lifting. Super. Now please keep the hips squared, left leg lifting. We're gonna come into a little dolphin pose, maybe some of you forearm balance. Can you drag your right hand back, right forearm to the floor? Drag your left hand back, forearm to the floor. Maybe you're practicing just a little straight kick up of that left leg. Maybe the right one comes up too, okay? Please don't force yourself to try and do this. It could be that you are just keeping your left leg lifting, staying in your dolphin, or with both feet to the floor in your dolphin. Do the one that works for you. 
Okay, now if both feet are to the floor and you prefer to interlace your fingers, do that. If that helps you to push away from the floor, does that make sense, yes? Nice, I can see lots of you are finding it. Beautiful, Chloe. Push the floor, push the floor more. Push and lift, beautiful. Nice, Judith, and remember, push. Gaze at your elbows rather than directly down. Yeah, gaze there, gaze between your elbows. Now kick up, push the floor. So you should get more lift. Well done, everyone. Extended childs, nice, Chloe. But it's back towards the heels, extended childs. Take a breath or two, and then hands beside the feet, four childs. Wonderful. Breathe. Downward facing dog. Down dog. Well done, everyone. But it's back towards the heels. Down dog. Then tiptoes, bent knees, high hips, opposite forward, top of mat. Look ahead, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Nice. Wide arms, you rise up. Palms to prayer. Exhale. Well done. Just the other side to do. Almost there. Balance on the right foot, Utita Adha Dhanurasana, half standing bow. Get a focal point, stay on that focal point. Left heel towards the butt, over reach back, hold. Now remember, squeeze the inner thighs, find your place, get nice and happy. Extend your right arm. As you begin to take your chest forward, that's when you begin to push your foot, left foot into your left hand to create your bow. So a little lean forward to find the balance. Keep lifting that knee, lifting the foot. Just three more breaths. So slow down the breath, focus. Two. On one, hands to the floor, float that left foot back. Remember, Uttan Pristasana Lizard. Take your time, it doesn't have to be rushed. Yeah, your hands are now inside your right foot. Scoot your right foot a little bit to the right. Little rock forward and back. Now remember, begin to cushion that left knee if you need to when you bring it to the floor. Okay, forearms down, elbows in line with your right heel, you're in full lizard pose. Maybe you are working to bring your chest a little bit lower and your chin closer to the floor, but no forcing here. Please have your hands inside your right foot. Okay, arms inside your right foot. Four more breaths. And please don't worry if you're not coming all the way down. It's okay to keep arms straight and hands to the mat. That's it, Barry. Hips forward, please. Judith, lower that right shoulder. Mm -hmm. Keep encouraging your right knee in towards your right shoulder. Super. Gemma, hips down a tiny bit more. Two. Nice, Patricia. Om one, gently rising up, coming into Kapodasana, pigeon pose. So remember you are gently moving your right foot, take your time, over to the left. Dropping the knee over to the right. Be kind to you as you push your left leg back. Now remember, your torso and hips are facing forward. Adding the back bends if you wish, using a strap if you're used to using a strap or walking hands back, but remember, you want to sink your hips down as much as you can for this to benefit you. Maybe some of you are reaching back, you're bringing your left foot in, holding onto that shin, maybe using one hand, maybe using both, but push the foot away from you to activate the back bend, okay? Just a few breaths here. Two. Om one, resting pigeon, well done. Squared hips as you come down, please, squared hips. As you fold forward, maintain a strong core, pull, pull, pull the belly back. 
Remember, you can make a nice little pillow with the hands or you can extend the arms. Breathe. Good. Allow your chest to come further forward and down. Wonderful. Now take the breath to where it's needed. Out of thigh, hip, glute. If it becomes uncomfortable in any way, remember you adjust. So Kari, don't stay in it. Yeah? Come out. Yeah. Just take either down dog or extended child's. Yeah, good. On two. Om one, well done, three-legged dog. I know, did you feel as though that leg was going to disappear a bit, right? Right leg lifting. Up, 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 up. Good. Give it a little stretch. So remember, you can do heel to buttock straight leg, heel to buttock straight leg, or keep the leg bent and circle the knee. So whatever works for you to release that side. Well done. Beautiful. Now remember we're coming into half split or full split. So you are lunging that right foot forward, dropping left knee if you are coming into half split, pushing hips back, bowing head forward and down. Okay, full split. Hanumanasana, you're pushing that right heel away, walking hands back, pushing heel away, walking hands back and working there. Half split or full split, whatever will benefit you, whatever you get the most out of. Remember, Barry, you don't press that knee. Above, yes? Wonderful. Good. Better, Judith. Well done. And now try and push that right heel forward a tiny bit, tiny bit, so you can sink down a little bit more. Just challenge yourself. Yes. Well done. Gemma, you can bow forward more. <laughs> Well done, Phil. This is coming along, isn't it? Lovely. Nice, Chloe. Push that heel away a tiny bit more. Mm -hmm. Mickey, curl the toes. You can bow forward more. So you want to bring your forehead towards your shin. Wonderful. Allow yourself two more breaths. I know, don't give up. I know, I count really slow, don't I? <laughs> Om one, Vashastasana side plank, well done. So remember you need to bend that front leg, left hand stays to the floor, right foot floats back, yes? Taking your time, stacked, push those hips up, extending your right arm up. Some of you lifting your right leg, it will hover. Some of you making a tree with that top leg, placing the foot, push your hips up. Yes, Chloe. Yes, keep that. Patricia, open up that right shoulder. Some of you are stepping right foot back behind you while the thing. Don't worry if not. That's perfectly fine. Don't worry if not. Beautiful, guys. This is awesome. No one's coming into full wheel, I can see. <laughs> but maybe, Susanna, maybe Rosa, you are doing full wheel. If you are, take your time. Everyone come into three-legged dog. Right leg is lifting, three-legged dog. Beautiful. Now keep that leg lifting. So remember we're coming into the balance, forearm balance or dolphin for you. Can you bring your left hand back, drag it back, then forearm to the floor. Then drag right hand back, forearm to the floor. So your right leg is lifting, little practice, maybe lifting up, little hops, or maybe you're just practicing keeping your right leg lifting, but you must Push your shoulders away from your ears, please. If it's dolphin that you are staying in, perhaps you'd like to interlace your fingers so that you feel a little bit more stable. Nice, Chloe, slow it down. That lead leg super high, chest towards the thighs. That's it, up. Beautiful, well done. Judith, we're coming up. Phil, can you step your feet in a tiny bit? So your chest moves back towards your thighs, make it stronger, shoulders away, shoulders away. Well done. Do you have a chest towards the thighs more? There you go, superb. Well done. Awesome, Mickey, this is great. Extended childs, good job everyone. Well done, extended childs. Buttocks back to heels, arms fully extended. Please breathe.
When you are ready, balasana for child's pose. Hands beside your feet. Breathe here. Stay connected with breath. Downward facing dog. Lovely. So just to let you know, it is actually 10 past, no, it's not 10 past, it's five past 10. Yeah. We're just going to do inversions, flow, and then a short Shavasana. But if you need to go before, I completely understand. But if you'd like to stay with, hop forward, wide squat, take your time, float your arms forward to come into Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Rock back, take your time, use your core strength, lift your legs up, walk your hands to your mid back so that you come into your shoulder stand. You must support your back, please. Walk your hands to your mid back, shoulder stand. If shoulder stand is not in your practice today, you can stay in happy baby, knees into armpits, lower legs up. Well done, everyone. Philip, you need to walk your hands to your mid back, please, mid back. Lovely. Chloe, legs together, hips towards the face, legs away. Yes. Super. Keep this. Breathe. Keep squeezing the thighs together. John, walk your hands down your back a tiny bit more. Wonderful. Halasana plow, toes overhead. Take your time. Arms to the mat, fingers interlaced. Please do not worry. If your feet do not touch the floor and you need to support your back to keep your hips up, do that. Curl the toes more, Jayla. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to come into Setu Bandhasana bridge pose from shoulder stand, please do. Legs back up and then come into bridge or you roll out from your plow pose into bridge where your knees are bent, soles of feet to the floor and hips rising. So Gemma, don't lift the head, don't lift the shoulders and just roll out slowly. Use your core slower. There you go, well done. Bend legs, soles of feet to the floor. Nice, Mickey, well done. Interlace fingers, arms underneath you and really anchor the feet down. Root into the heels, float the hips up. Good, any issues with your back? Don't lift the hips as high. Wonderful. Some of you will come into Audhva Dhanurasana four wheel and then we'll all add leg extensions if you are able to, okay? So if not, stay in your bridge. If you're not doing four wheel, it's perfectly fine, good. Now if you'd like, right knee in towards your chest, extend your right leg up. That's it, Phil, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips, yes. And then slowly release your right leg. Nice, Judith. Take your time. Take your time. Good. Left knee in towards the chest. And then extend. Left leg up. Straight up. That's it, Chloe. Good. And then slowly release that left leg. Well done, Patricia. You're going to release slowly onto your back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Hug, hug, hug. Little rock from side to side. Good, come back to center. Matsyasana fish. Lie on your arms, legs extended, keep your hips down. Now remember, nice flat palms, yes? Keep your elbows in, prop yourself up onto your elbows, top of head to the floor, fish pose. Keep your hips down, legs down. So feel you wanna puff that chest up. Yes, well done. I know some of you like to add a couple of bati here, 30 pumpies. What? No. No. Shit. Oh no. Oh no.
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Sorry, everyone. My screen disappeared. It said someone else had signed in. I was like, damnation. Okay, we finished fish, yes? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, we're back. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Lower yourself out of your fish pose. Well done. Now take a moment with your legs fully extended. Squeeze them together. Chin towards the chest. Interlace the fingers at the back of the head. Lift. Elbows together and curl the toes. Breathe here. So hopefully you're feeling that wonderful release to the back body, to the neck, to the shoulders. And then gently release, arms a little away from your sides. Wide legs, wide arms. And just take a moment here in Shavasana. Final relaxation. So no effort, no strain. Focusing on the breath. Or focus on the third eye between the eyebrows. Each time you exhale the limbs, they soften. The mind is still and quiet. Mind and body completely released. And relax. Into deep in the breath, bring your awareness back to the physical body. And gently start to wiggle the toes, wiggle the finger, circle the feet, circle the hands. Bring the legs together, float the arms up overhead. Point the toes, inhale. Flex the feet, exhale. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Little rock side to side, so keep the head and shoulders resting. Good. Come back to centre. You can either rock up to sitting or drop knees to one side. Take your time, sitting tall. Fingers in chin mudra, eyes closed. Deep breath in. Side out through the mouth. Deep breath in. 
Side out through the mouth. Neck releases, chin to chest. Right ear toward right shoulder. Little lift of chin. Left ear, left shoulder. Head forward, chin to chest, deep breath. Left ear toward left shoulder. Little lift of chin. Right ear, right shoulder. Head forward. Big deep breath. Slow rise of the head. Arms to prayer position at the heart center. I'm gonna try and unmute you, but it doesn't always work, but some of you may be. Let's do a collective arm to close. Deep breath in. Oh. As you exhale, lower your head toward the direction of your heart. My gratitude to you for showing up this morning. Namaste. Hey, Thank you so much. Thanks for showing up. How are you feeling? All right. You need to unmute yourself if you want to talk to me. <laughs> but if you're happy to. Thank you, you very much. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Anything Thank you, Marcia. Have a great yeah. weekend. Have a lovely yeah, weekend. weekend Thanks, Claire. All good, Phil? Have a good weekend. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome sources. Have a great one, Gemma. That was Thank great. You practice so today. Chloe. Oh, Have my God. Day. Hello. Thank you. You <laughs> rocked that. Well done. Do you, do you think the setup helped? Yeah. There we go. We'll put that one in again next week, all right? Okay. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you so, thank so you. much. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, bye. Awesome. Patricia, awesome. Oh, my gosh. You just make my job not a job. Thank you. <laughs> bye. bye, guys. Thank you so much, Marcia. My absolute pleasure, always. Gotta run, okay? Bye. Bye, bye, bye darlings. <laughs>